My name's Karima Adrib and I'm the new Lara Croft for 2006. The company who created Lara, IDOS, held an open ca um, a casting for just over a thousand girls and I was modelling back in London at the time. So my agency put me up for the casting. I went and I got a recall for another audition. When I went back, um, I had to get into the outfit, get dressed as Lara, come on camera, do some gun moves, sort of, you know, just do some eye movements in the camera. And um, I got another audition from that, which meant that I was down to the last three girls. So I went back, had to meet with all the bosses of IDOS and, you know, sat in a room where they kind of, a boardroom where they threw questions at, at me and I walked in as Lara, so it was very nerve-wracking. Um, they asked me lots of, you know, sort of fun questions, you know, basically, you know, how do I feel about standing in front of a room with 500 men ogling me? What sort of man do I think, you know, best suits Lara? Um, how do I feel about riding a motorcycle? Um, just all sorts of things, you know, um, who would be Lara's, you know, biggest competition, competitor. Well, I've known Lara Croft for about 10 years, um, and I'm, I've always been a huge fan. I love Angelina Jolie, I love Lara Croft. So, you know, I've known quite a lot about her, um, but obviously to get into character, I've had to, um, you know, do a lot of training, basically. So, combat training, SAS training, I'm going to be doing a course in firearms when I get back. You know, I, I was very nervous in the beginning, um, but now I've done so much, I've overcome almost everything. When I first put on the uniform, when I first put on the Lara outfit, I, um, I remember putting it on, having my makeup done, and it wasn't until I was 100% ready that I kind of stood in front of the mirror, and it was just incredible. I turned into Lara. Lara is a huge icon to, you know, she's just such a, a heroine. Um, to both women and men and children, you know, the women all sort of, everyone gets a bit out of Lara. Women want to either portray her in some sort of way, whether it be intelligence, sass, ruggedness. Um, men all fancy her because she's just incredible, she's got the complete package, she's got her assets, her weapons, you know, she's just, she can take you on. Um, and kids like to play her in the game. So she's, you know, she's a household name basically. If you're asking me personally, I'd rank her extremely highly, considering that I, it was one of the first games I ever played and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And now I'm playing, I'm being her for this game. And I've had a snippet of, I've had a preview of the game and I think it's absolutely fantastic. Well, okay, to be honest with you, I really love Angelina Jolie. I, I admire her, I think she's a wonderful actress. I would just feel satisfied if I could just come close. Um, well, she's actually, um, she can climb ropes now, she climbs up vines, which is a new thing, she never used to be able to do that. Um, another thing is, um, if you're familiar with the Lara game, she used to have to jump back to jump forwards, she had to kind of do a swivel backwards, now she's a lot more fluid, she, you can press, I think it's a B button or something, well, it depends on what console you're playing. Um, she jumps as immediately, as soon as you, dem you demand that she jumps, so it's a lot more fluid. Um, it's just so realistic. It's incredible how far the game has come, considering that I played the first two and I've seen this one. It's just amazing. Well, um, I'm contracted for I think just over a year. Um, the contract is just for you know the game, the new game, which is Tomb Raider Legend, which is coming out on the 11th of April. So I'm just going to be doing lots of promotional stuff, um, lots of touring. So this is my first. You know, the unveiling was last week, so this is my first. Um, sort of mini tour and then I'm back in a week back in back to London and then I'm off you know all around Europe see I'm starting to get used to things I'm starting to have fun with things nothing's really difficult anymore and if it is it's not difficult it's a challenge and I will overcome it